Hello siblings, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be blind dating six men based on their outfits. This is a video by Jubilee. And I just thought I'd insert myself right in there and join the group. Um, so this is gonna be based on fashion. My extent of fashion is leggings, my Doc Martens, and a hoodie or t-shirt every day. This has been my new favorite hoodie. Jesus loves you. Just spitting facts. I already stained it. There's a stain. Cause I ate dinner. Hopefully that'll come out. That's really sad. Okay, let's let's get to dating. All right, we asked Jess to speed date six men. She must pick one date based on his outfit and personality. Hi, I'm Jess. I am 21. Hi, Jess. So I. I'm almost 21. We're like the same age. I only started getting into fashion really like my senior year of high school. I had to buy all my own clothes, so I got oh. really. In See, this is like, this is what I wish I looked like. This is what I think I look like in my head, and I don't. What I tend to lean towards is like Tyler the Creator, kind of. If a guy can pull okay. off a suit, I'm also very into that too. Shoes. Ooh. I'm like not a huge shoe person in general, and they're probably like the last thing I think about when it comes to an outfit. Okay. But they say that you I can tell. For shoes with me, I definitely like sneakers. Okay, contestant number two. I like those shoes a lot. I like those shoes a lot too. I would wear those shoes, yeah. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> also, um, contestant number four. Those are pretty nice. I'm hmm. interesting. Curious what's gonna accompany the rest. That's giving me um, theater kid vibes. Of those. I can't really tell too much off the bat, so. What kind of music is everyone into? Like my favorite genre is probably like rap, like Kanye, new album Donda. I do like those shoes. I don't really listen to rap though. I also listen to like pop, like Ariana Grande, like 100 Gags. So just basic music. I'm a producer. I make a lot of music from different genres. Anything from... That's pretty cool. I like that. Like reggae to hip hop to house music. I'm a big R&B guy. I definitely like to mix it up with alternative music as well. I was into a lot of indie rock. My favorite bands are Sad Girl and uh, a band called Maxiel. Also a lot of like old crony music like Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, Bobby Darin. I'd say a uh, favorite band. That definitely matches his shoes. And Rolling Stones and favorite artist Otis Redding. That also matches his shoes. I like Thundercat and Prince. Prince is obviously the best musician of all time. Okay, let me, let me go back. Contestant number one. Dang. I was debating in my head between contestant number one and contestant number five. Hi. Hi. I'm sorry, you, your outfit. He seems like such a cute little nerd kid. Hmm. Okay, whenever guys wear these type of pants, it gives me like trying too hard vibes. I'm actually starting to love this outfit over here. Like it's so out there that I like, like it. Um, loving contestant number two's fit so far. Both of these, not really like screaming my vibe, but we'll see. Ooh, okay. Contestant number five is not what I was expecting at all. Not what I was expecting either. I like the colors a lot. She literally was saying how she likes that kind of style, like the Tyler, the creator, like out there, patterns, colors. Can I ask everyone a question now? Okay, where would we go on our first date and what would we be doing? Um, if it was my first date and I was choosing, I would want this to be something, anything except dinner and a movie, because that's so awkward. I don't want to really like eat in front of someone just at a table on my first date. That's so awkward. Movies, you don't get to talk. So that's also just like, what's the point? I would want to do something maybe like a drive with music. No, no, no. I'd want to do something public so it's not as awkward, like roller skating, ice skating, bowling, something like that. Definitely love to go on a drive, probably somewhere like near the coast, you know, get that like nice ocean breeze. I wouldn't mind a drive, but kind of sketchy for like a first date. Afterwards, I would love to like show you some of my music and maybe cook you something if you're down. I'd be down to have something cooked for me. Okay, so um, I like to go out. I'm loving the rings. I love when guys wear rings. It's like overlooks and, and cliffs and just kind of like watch the stars or just, just uh, chill in the car and then talk and like. Okay, I like these ideas, but I feel like this is something we do after we actually did like something where barriers broken like some icebreakers we're in public i don't feel like intimidated and then we can go on drives or whatever okay so for me i consider myself like a big romantic definitely i get that vibe from his outfit gonna take you out to dinner maybe a place i haven't tried before or somewhere that i know that's really good and me after saying i don't want to go to dinner maybe go like dancing or what kind of dancing oh going dancing would be really fun we do like swing dancing ballroom dancing i can do a little salsa just a little bit so okay 
I'd probably take you for a ride out to my favorite spot on uh, Angel's Crest Highway. Ooh, I like his pants and I like his rings. His vibe is definitely coming, definitely more my vibe. And we probably would have a picnic there and- I like picnics. After then uh, an art museum. An art museum. Interesting. Could you drive us to the spot in? A motorcycle if that. I love motorcycles. All right, that definitely all fits this guy's vibe. I'm starting to like it more. It's okay. Oh, yeah, I've never been on the back of a motorcycle actually. There's always a first. I would choose a drive-in movie. <gasps> okay, that is my exception to the movie rule because drive-in movies are awesome. I love drive-in movies. And you can still like kind of talk because you're like outside. For truck, so. I've got a pretty impressive drive-in movie set up. Air mattress, blankets, pillows, picnic, all of that, all set up. I like that, actually. Preferably a horror movie if you're into that. No, you're done, you're canceled, you're out. No. Ooh, I do I love like horror movies. Okay, so elimination for number two. I'm kind of thinking number one. Two? Oh, two of them have to get a lane. Okay, I have to rethink now. Contestant number two. No, I liked number two. Hi, guys. <laughs> He's so cute. Sorry. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm sorry, your answer no, is just not. I love his style. Love his vibes. It's it's dramatic. I'm Jess. Yeah, Jess. it was the answer. So it's okay. Yeah. All right. So now it's going to be contestant number two. Yeah. Yeah, he was one of mine too. That's fine. Oh, sorry. Hi. No, you totally get it. <laughs> he seems so fun. He definitely gives me like brother vibes. Okay, now I get to see the top. I feel like the top. Mm. Number one, I can't decide if I'm vibing with it or hating Ops it. Definitely match the pants. I still really like. I also am liking the like fun creativeness, but then at the same time, I know that I'm kind of a very like fun, outgoing person. So maybe having someone that has that exact same energy as me, we would kind of clap. The leather jacket goes with the motorcycle. Yeah. Oh, nothing about me. I, I mean. I was about to say, she didn't say anything about number one. <laughs> <laughs> it looks very, like, comfy. She's like, no, basic, done. Where do you see yourself in five years? I am leaving in about six months uh, to Asia. I'm starting a business project in the Philippines with my friend. We are developing affordable housing for pretty much anyone around the world to be able to oh, vacation. Cool. I'm trying to, you know, make it more accessible for people. Okay, I am like it number one, but at the same time, obviously that wouldn't really work if he's moving to Asia. I'm acting like I'm actually there about to go on a date with these people. They'd be able to visit beautiful places. Aww. Or they could fly me out, we could travel. Probably tattooing and traveling at the same time. So you're telling me that you would take me traveling and get me tattoos. Okay, you're growing on me. I just need to know what kind of motorcycle you drive. I'm pretty stationary compared to everybody else, I suppose. I would like to either open up my own dealership or start brokering out cars personally. Cars are my passions. Ooh, I like cars. That would be fun. Okay, as far as like that answer goes, um, I think number one would have to go just because they're going to be like moving. I like the stability of number three because I just want to be like stable and have a family. I like number two because he seems like pretty unique. I like tattoos and I would like to travel, but I also just kind of want to hang out and yeah. So what's your dream car? Ooh, that's a hard, that's, I'm a big Mercedes Benz guy. I worked for them for about four years. So I would say maybe an SLS Gullwing. I don't have, I have no idea what that is. My brother's like big into cars, not really Mercedes. So I don't know anything about those cars. Okay, as far as she goes, she's definitely keeping number three. She loves number three. I think she's getting rid of number two. The first person I'm gonna eliminate is contestant number two. That's what I thought. I'm Jess, nice to meet Morrow, you. Morrow, pleasure to meet you. Wait, what is it? Morrow. Ooh, he's got a vibe to him. Alright, I see you. Trying to give me a tattoo? Oh, she's making a Okay, well, she's obviously gonna pick the colorful outfit guy. I feel like I like both their outfits in different ways. So now I gotta think back to the answer. <laughs> They're like, alright, whoever wins, we're still bros. Eliminate contestant number two. Really? I thought that she would have kept him because she loved his outfit. I'm so sad about it though. <laughs> nice to meet you, Jess. Quinn. Quinn, nice to meet you too. He seems so fun, especially with the outfit. All right, the reveal. Hey, I'm Jess. Hey, what's up? Nice meeting okay. you. What's your name? Taryn. I definitely see that, feel like they match each other's vibes. Right. Awesome. awesome. And I think it was your first date that like really got me because it's oh. been like fun. What are your next steps? 
I mean, let's get married. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, she didn't really like pick any of the people that I would have, but you know, to each their own. That's fine. That's cool. It's whatever. I want. I need to. I want to go on one of these shows. I just think it'd be so fun to go on like one of these little like Jubilee episodes. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.